A veil of silence is at last being torn in the village of Toxa. To speak out here where the warlords rule is to risk your life. But the plague of rape in the north of Afghanistan, which began when the Taliban were ousted, finally reached the family compound of Amaruddin. His daughter, Samir, just 13 years old, was kidnapped and brutally gang-raped at gunpoint. Bound hand and foot and gagged, her audio was filmed on a mobile phone. Eight people raped me, she told us. The police accused me of lying. They said my father would kill me if I went back home. It is usually true, when a girl loses her virginity in Afghanistan, she loses all value. Rape victims are often murdered in so-called honor killings for bringing shame on their family. But Amaruddin is no ordinary man. He has decided to fight for his daughter and bring the rapists to justice. I have 13 members in my family, he told us. We're all prepared to destroy ourselves to make the government take notice. Amaruddin is setting out on a very long and hard road for justice. He's already sold his sheep, his cows and his land to fund his fight. Amnesty International, though, say in Afghanistan, the abuse of women is tolerated at the highest level of the government and the judiciary. Four of Samir's rapists are now in prison. The rest are still at large. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Afghanistan.